Hi guys and welcome to our channel. Here we're going to be reviewing all sorts of products and rating them based upon criteria such as quality, price, originality and flavour. For this episode we're going to be reviewing cheap versus expensive whiskey and letting you know if spending the big bucks is actually worth it. So in front of me we have two bottles at two completely different price points. The first bottle we have here is a bottle of Jim Beam which is at 40% and it costs £14 from Tesco. And here we have a bottle of the Golden Cask, which is at 57.9% and costs £110 from Robert Graham. So the first bottle I'm going to be trying is a bottle of Jim Beam. So let's just open this up and give it a taste. So we've got some ice in there because, you know, I've got to love ice. And that's a bit too much, so I won't drink it all for now. And I'll just screw that back up and give it a little taste. Mm. So it is quite sour and its aftertaste isn't the best. It's quite a sharp aftertaste. It doesn't go down the throat quite smoothly. But according to the uh, flavour profile, it's supposed to have a palette of a balanced new oak flavours with corn, chocolate, black pepper, tobacco and vanilla. Whilst I can definitely taste the corn and chocolate, I'm struggling to taste any of the tobacco or vanilla flavours. And for the aftertaste, the flavour profile states it is a sweet honey note with vanilla and toasted almonds. I'm getting something sweet, but I cannot say it's honey. And I cannot taste any uh, vanilla or toasted almonds. Overall, I'd give this whiskey a 4 out of 10. It's not something that you'd want to drink alone. I can imagine it would taste quite good as a mixer with maybe some Coca-Cola or Dr. Pepper. But it's not something you would necessarily go out to buy for a present or for a special occasion. So now let's move on to the one we've all been waiting for. The £110 bottle of Golden Cask. So let's just bring this into frame and let's open up the bottle. So I'm expecting this one to be a lot smoother and have a much better uh, profile in terms of taste, flavour and nose. Oh, it's got a nice cork lid and let's pour us a glass i'm not going to do too much as i did last time right so let's just give this a smell real quick so online it states that the nose for this drink is uh, dark fruit and roasted coffee beans with a hint of brown sugar and i can attest to that that smells exactly like it says and its palette is raspberries black currants and overtones of fresh ginger so let's give it a taste oh wow that is good um exactly as it states for the taste as well for the palette um yeah it's basically perfect that tastes phenomenal <clears throat> I think there's not even a competition here. So guys, just to wrap up the video, I just cannot explain how much better this golden cask is compared to the Jim Beam. Whilst it may cost like eight times as much as the Jim Beam, its smoothness and taste is just far superior. If you or anyone you know loves whiskey, you must give this a try. Like, I would just feel so bad for anyone who drinks Jim Beam thinking it's got anything on those good high quality high priced whiskies so if you guys liked this review and would want to see more regardless whether it be whiskey food or any other products or items just leave a like subscribe and let me know in the comments so for now i will say bye and i'll see you in the next one